Welcome back, everybody. It's JD, and we're doing Seven Days to Die Darkness Falls, version 4.1.1, and we're doing a little uh, base testing here um, to see how um, the bases hold up against uh, the new 4.1.1 uh, zombies. Um, and specifically the succubi uh, in late game. So we're sitting here at, uh, I've upped Danny a little bit from the last one. We're at level 250, game stage 750. Um, we're going to do, we're on day 700. Um, after I do the base tour, we'll advance time and we'll get her going. Uh, if by 3 in the morning I don't see a, a good number of succubi, I'll go ahead and spawn them in. Um, so uh, let me affect. Let me go ahead and. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm. I'm good. I'm still in debug mode. Um, so there's actually two versions of this base that I made. Um, this is the version I want to test first because um, it's the simplest. It doesn't require a lot of stuff. Uh, but underneath here is a whole pit um, with a bunch of uh, spikes, a bunch of electric fences, and it's just kind of a deterrent um, to slow the zombies down. Um, they won't be quite so slow in this version and I'm hoping that that will usher in the succubi at the end. Um, so down here I also have, there you can probably hear a generator running already. Uh, just in case they glitch through I have the turrets here. Um, but I'm not going to activate the electric fences. Uh, so that would be pretty good. So I got a bunch of stainless steel spikes here. They're just designed to kill zombies a little bit quicker. Um, basically the base works, you know, as my other ones did. Come up the ramps, up the stairs. Uh, most of them fall off here or get knocked off by the, uh, the fledge turret. Definitely when they get to this corner, they all usually take a nose dive. Uh, if they happen to make it here, and you know the Titans will probably, because uh, they're a bit, little bit larger, uh, they hit the uh, titanium blade traps and electric traps. These will be activated. Uh, I can actually repair the blade traps from this position for this one, this position for that one, and I can crouch and get to there for that one, and then. I can repair the electric fences, which are titanium, so they won't, I won't have to repair them. Um, up top, we have uh, some anti-aircraft, and I have made myself a cage here out of bars and the quarter double pole uh, for the sides. Um, yeah, you can't use these for the ceilings because the, uh, I think the zombies can drop, the succubi can actually drop through the, through the top because you can actually fit through these if you are on top of it. I discovered that when I was, I originally started putting them up here and I kept falling through. I'm like, well, if I can fall through, the zombies can fall through. So, um, anyway, uh, this hatch will remain open to give the succubi a path because I will be standing right here. So we have a generator over here, which we will start up. And we'll go ahead and turn those on. Whoops, I guess I had it turned on already. Duh. I just didn't have those on. Okay. Uh, is this one turned on? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, um, you can see, you, can, you go up there and crouch, you can repair that one. And stand right there and repair that one. Uh, electric fences. Yeah, I'm kind of making myself dizzy. Um, another generator here. We'll make sure it's on. Okay, it controls the turrets. This one controls the turrets, and so does this one over here. But that's all. Should be all the turrets. Um, they're always act. What is getting shot at, and which one's shooting? Okay, who shot that one? Ah, well, maybe. Ah, these ones aren't pointed. I've noticed that sometimes the game doesn't save where you point the turrets. So beware of that when you guys are building stuff and 
going, you know, saving games and stuff like that. Before Blood Moon, make sure you check your turrets, because those were pointed up. Um, and this is the fitting, I'm sure this is the fitting one, yep. Maybe even this one. Nope, just that one. Um, let's make sure those are pointed. You can pretty much tell if they're, you know, flat, they're not pointed. Uh, they look like they're all good. So I got my, uh, turret up here. Um, that's just so that if, uh, the demonic, uh, chickens or the succubi show up, uh, this should, um, uh, stop regeneration because it does have the, uh, the battery thingy in it. Uh, that's why I got it up there. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I mean, originally, <laughs> If you go up here, originally I was like, hey, this looks like a, a, a Y-Wing. Uh, before I put the top on it, it looked like a Star Wars Y-Wing uh, uh, fighter. And uh, I could have made it look even more like that by putting the actual cockpit up here. But, you know, with the cage up on top, it just wasn't going to look like that anymore. So, I know, I'm such a geek. Okay. Uh, I do have some stuff in here, uh, refills and whatnot, um, but that's about it. Uh, so let's get the show on the road. Let me go ahead and get out of God mode here. And we'll go ahead and advance time, set time, uh, 720150. Uh, And we'll get this going. Um, effectively, I think I can just stand right here and, you know, wait it out. Uh, all I have to do is keep uh, putting darts in uh, my trusty turret there until the succubi show up. Uh, in fact, going up here is probably not a good idea because they'll start throwing fireballs at me. So... Sitting over here and just waiting for something to make it that far is probably about the, the best thing I can do. Okay, something still pointed a little bit down. We'll just. Oh, yep, there they come. So let's go take a look at what we're doing. Half the reason I stayed in the. De in the Whoops. Why is that? Okay. Try this again. F5, P, open bracket. I don't know why that doesn't work sometimes. Oh, well, that's probably not good. I didn't know they could, they fall, fell in between those. That's weird. Is it? Can, does he take enough damage? No, he keeps regenerating. <laughs> hmm. I guess unless the flesh turret stops the regeneration, they will sit there. Good to know. Oh, we get more titans. That's good. The, the higher game stage, we're getting more of the bigger zombies. I like that. Okay. That's not working the way I thought. So, if you build this, don't worry about the spikes. Just don't worry about the spikes. They're not necessary. See that, that, that Titan, that guy right there, he would have made it had, had the Fled Shirt not whacked him. He would have made it up, up that way, I think. <laughs> now, this guy should not be regenerating. Because he was actually hit. Of course, he can't, he's kind of stuck there now. Yeah, because he's got the la uh, laser battery or whatever's on on him, so 
it should stop the regeneration. Huh. It's kind of weird. Um, I think I could actually go up there and shoot down. Uh, and let's try that. That that might be some fun to do. Uh, let's see. F five. Open bracket P. Oops, why well did that? And I go in the right spot. So this is what I'm thinking is I go up here. Go up here and climb up here. why you don't want to expose yourself because you will take uh, a few hits. What am I missing off my toolbar? Seems like I'm missing something. Oh, I probably usually have that on there. So, if we hear the turrets go off upstairs, we know that there's a, probably a succubus or at least a, a demonic chicken up there. You can also control, um, based the way I have it designed, you control how much this thing shoots by where you put it here. You put it back, it'll only shoot things that actually make it up there. You push it forward and it'll shoot things up up that are still on the stairs there. And we are on 75 minute uh, days now. I thought the longer day might help. I did 60 minutes for the last video. Uh, but everything is still the same. We're on Nomad 64 concurrent. And we're past midnight. Uh, I'll switch this guy out and then we'll go look again. how we're doing here. Lots of spiders. Yeah, I I'm thinking the, the spikes are probably a bad idea. It does slow, it does slow them down, that's for sure, because they get stuck there. Make sure not to fall on through here. Alright, that's good. Don't want nothing glitching through. I think this might be a little too efficient. But that's okay. The task was to build a base. Uh, that was uh, good for succubi. So 
and this is one of the, the things you want, a base that you don't have to constantly be involved with so when the succubi show up you can go up top and deal with them because that's the only way you're going to deal with succubi. Mono mono with your laser carbine and your laser rifle. In fact, let's make sure that these are loaded and stuff. Yep. Um, Hmm. So far, not one of them made it up to where I am. I'm gonna call that a success. And we're at almost one o'clock in the morning. No suck you by either. I might go up there and shoot some more uh, explosive bolts down there. Uh, F5. Uh, There we are. Oh, we actually got one. Oh, we actually got one guy that made it down there. He didn't last long, darn it. I say I actually got one guy that made it down there. succubi yet. So we've had two make it up here. Okay, that is a succubus problem. Yep, there we are. Ooh, I that worked well. He must have disabled her regeneration because I barely shot her. That looked worked really well, guys. Whoa, that was cool. That worked really, really well. Let me go over here and see about see how see if they're they need much repair. Oh that one did. Good thing I checked that. Okay, if we don't see more succubus pretty soon, we'll, uh... We did shoot many rounds.
Way too efficient, I think. Way, way too efficient. That was actually a lot of damage to those titanium blade traps for just two two zombies that made it through. They should be much tougher than that. The blade traps should be. I think anyway. Let's make them a little more viable. Granted, the zombie did have like 5,000 hit points, but still. Okay. I'm actually going to swap this out. And we're going to go up here and spawn some uh, succubi. F6. Succubi. Well, he just came right through. Hmm. I wonder why they glitched through the... Funny that they glitched through. See the reload sequence on that one. There we go. Well, that was uh almost too easy. Take a look and see what we're seeing here. What are these guys? Oh, that's a new incubus. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to shoot that guy, so I'm gonna get back here. I'm gonna, I don't want my my uh, turret to shoot him. Whoops. So we'll pick up the. I don't know if I want to shoot out there. Stop their demonic regeneration. 
for one thing. Bolts are actually fairly efficient. If you hit what you're shooting at, anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't even know. Oh, I guess I do have a bed. All right. Well. Alrighty then. Uh. Well, that's one way to end it. Uh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, aside from the fact that. I'm going to say I hit, I probably shot that or that, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so uh, note to other people, these pulse bolts, deadly, very deadly. Uh, never throw a pulse grenade, you'll kill yourself. There's just no reason for it. Um, well, aside from me shooting a pulse bolt at myself, it is a success, I do believe. Um, let me go, I'm going to go turn off stuff, and then we'll assess the damage. Because that noise is... That one that's on. The other one controls the... Okay. Everything's... So... I don't think these are necessary. Um, I mean, they did slow down the flow a lot. Um, so maybe... Maybe you maybe do use them. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Damage... Uh, I mean... Yeah, minim minimal so far. And they were beating on this one pretty good. Because they were kind of stagnated here. So I think when... Uh... Okay, so me it was just that side. Yeah, the beauty of this being too wide and too long like that is... Even if they take out a block or two, there's still a path. And that's one thing... That's probably the biggest thing you want to you want to uh, be mindful of is not having just a single path, um, you know, multiple paths. Uh, and and this is you know there's actually two two paths there because it's two blocks wide, and actually more than that because if they take out this block, they can still use that block to get up. So uh, they would have to do an awful lot to yeah. These are in great shape. Uh, this one's taking a little damage, just about half. But even if even if this one comes out, that's still a path because they can jump down, jump up. So um, redundancy is the key here. Um, not too many things made it that far. And then these are in good shape. Oh, we have three total zombies that made it through, I think. Um, and then the electric fences, yeah, they barely, barely even touched. Um, let's see, fireball damage, probably mainly up here where I was standing. Um, let me go ahead and pick that guy up. Yep. Uh, I mean, we had to spawn in the succubus to get, to get a couple of them, but uh, they were easily dealt with because the base runs itself, uh, so you can go deal with the, uh, the succubus. So 
succubi, I guess. Um, and these worked well. Let's see. I mean, once the regeneration comes off those succubus, um, these things will take them down pretty good. And, um, yeah, that's about... Uh, we're going to call this success. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, and I hope this uh, gives you some insight into base building. Uh, I mean, this really isn't a, an exploit. It's just a fact of the way the zombies run. Uh, and I'm not considering this an exploit. It's not that they can't make it there. They can, and they can't, you know, if it wasn't for, for the turret, more of them would make it, make it through. Uh, I, I guarantee it. Um, I would say probably 50, half of them won't, and the half that won't, the turret takes care of. Um, and even, uh, there are some, some zombies that don't have, uh, that aren't, aren't, uh, uh, aren't affected by the oh, this thing is pretty unwieldy <laughs> a lot of recoil on it uh, that that are immune to the sledge turret knockdown uh, specifically the the stalkers but at this game stage you don't get a lot of stalkers you do you do get the uh, stalker I don't know what he's called. The bigger stalker. Uh, uh, stalker boss. Yeah. The stalker boss. He can make that. that uh, uh, he can go right up there. Uh, and he's not affected by him. Uh, sometimes they won't make this jump though. Uh, and they'll fall down. It's, you know... You have about a 25% a chance of making that jump. Uh, so three times out of four he'll fall, but they can make it all the way. So and Titans can too. Um, eventually, you know, this will get overwhelmed, uh, overwhelm the sledge, and you know, the Titan will get through. Uh, but easily dealt with. Even if these things weren't there, um, you can sit in here and just shoot them. Uh, the stalkers would pass right through the uh, electric fences, though. Uh, again, he would get stuck there, probably, and he's easily dealt with. So, um, strangely enough, uh, we had a couple of the uh, succubi glitch through the bars. So that was kind of at least it looked like they glitched through the bar. It looked like they were right down in my face. Uh, but that's how you deal with stock, uh, uh, succubus. You just shoot them. Just flat out shoot them. And uh, once you disable the regeneration, which uh, that's why I have the, had the turret up there. Because the, uh, what's it called? Uh, this guy here, laser battery, disables demonic regeneration. Um, so if you do that right off the bat, these guys might just deal with single succubus by themselves without you going up there. But... That first one, I went up there and shot it uh, 11 times, and it was dead. So the the uh, um, turrets did the most, the majority of the damage to it. Um, that and the and the uh, that the turret I have in my hand, just turret, uh, the robotic turret and the SMG slash. These are the steel upgraded steel round turret the Mark IIs. Uh, well, there you have it. You guys know the deal. Stop by Kane's YouTube channel, like his latest video, subscribe to him if you haven't already, and become a patron for the mod. Um, and I will see you next time with another base, or in my reg one of my regular series. Uh, I think I got one more base to do. I'm going to try to do a pit base. Uh, no guarantees that that one's going to work. Uh, uh, underground pit base type thing. Uh, if you go look at the, my old 5x5 challenges, I did a 5x5 uh, base 
based on somebody else's work uh, and modified it for Darkness Falls and it worked pretty good. Again, it's dicey because you're using uh, the, the pulse laser rounds out of rocket launcher um, and you know something gets too close and you saw that little the pulse uh, arrow crossbow bolt just blew me up I mean yeah so uh, it is dicey um, and that is much worse than lighting yourself on fire let me tell you so <laughs> uh, I'll see you all next time have a good one man